Hey, so one thing that I really can't believe I forgot to check. Fuses. We're gonna go check those. I bought a new tool. Let's go check it out. So we're gonna check the fuses. I bought a new tool for me. A Lyle, Lysol. Um, 26250 low voltage circuit tester. So <clears throat> hook this up to a ground, touch this to the, um, either side of a fuse and it should light up or beep or something. So let me ground this. It's a nice little spot to do it here. Or actually let's put it right on the battery ground. All right. That works right. Okay. So, oh, light. Light, that's good. Light. Light. Oh, that one's gone. What does that go to? Heater. This light. Light. Good. So we discovered the other day is that this fuse, this 15 amp fuse is blown, and it goes to the EFI front heater. The EFI is the fuel injection system. I did not know that, but a lot of things go to this little fuse. So anyway, now that the battery's charged, um, sorry, we will go ahead and try and start it. Just because that also goes to a lot of the computer and stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and check that out. See if that works. Here we go. It's open. So then it works. So let's check the fuse here and see if it's hot. No, the fuse is still good. So probably that's a temporary fix there. All right. <clears throat> So that EFI slash heater fuse was really more like the ECM fuse. And it actually did keep blowing, uh, which is really frustrating because it's like, well, okay, I replaced the fuse, but now how am I supposed to trace it to what's blowing? Because uh, I'll show you schematic. <laughs> Everything here goes to the ECM. <laughs> so um, anyway, I just, you know, I just kind of blowing my brain and I was wanting to hit my head against the brick wall. and. Got one right there side of the house of brick, right? So, so the fuse kept blowing over and over. Why? I don't know. Cause I mean, I know putting a fuse, replacing the fuse isn't fixing the problem. It's just, you know, putting a band aid on a, pro there's like a big problem. It's like giving you a band aid when you have cancer, right? And so anyway, but I was kind of pounding my head against brick wall, not sure what to do. So I decided instead of ruining the money maker here by smashing it into the brick wall, uh, what I should do is check for codes. Cause I hadn't really thought about that because it's OBD one. And so I had to get a jumper wire and find out where those two jumper wires are supposed to go and where the two ends. And, um, you know, what do we do? What, where the codes come up? I couldn't remember. It's been years since I've done this. And, um, so somebody, Brian, uh, <laughs> Uh, had OBD one book. I didn't know he did, but he did. And that was totally cool. Thank you. And um, anyway, so I took some pictures and looked at the codes and it was all ready because, you know, what you do is you jump to cables and then it'll flash like one, two, three, one, two. So that's would be like 32 is the code. Right. And then I would just repeat that. Or if there were more than like one, two, three, four, five one so 51 and then I could just repeat those two uh so it's kind of like morse code and that's what we're gonna do next is we're gonna find codes okay go find the codes so right here is our diagnosis then this car is obd1 which is kind of unfortunate for me 
looked up how to read the codes. So I have to TE1, which is the middle one here, and TE or and E1 is this one. There's some weird coding on these. And that's pretty nasty. I don't know what it is. We're just gonna jump the wire between the two. Okay. So that's ready to go. All right. So hopefully, uh, sorry about that. Let's check out here and see what these codes are saying. Just turn it on. So the one fuse keeps blowing. Uh, which basically goes to the ECM and then there are no faults, no fault codes. Um, so, you know, where does that leave me? Pretty much where I just started from, except I did find a, a blown fuse, which I don't know why on earth I did not check that out in the first place. I was getting way too excited to just get in there, I guess. But, um, <clears throat> anyway, so in the next video, we'll, um, take a look at the fuel pump and see if that's working. Okay, it's, it's getting late. I'm really tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I forgot to get back to my tool review. And what that review is, is two big thumbs up. Uh, it cost about $8 and it worked fantastic. It obviously, you know, I mean, I can pull them all out one by one, but it's a lot slower to do it that way. Thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe, comment in the comment section below, share, share with your friends. Don't be all greedy. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. And I don't tweet very often because it's kind of a weird concept. Um, but I'm on Twitter now, so you know if you want to be up the 13 followers I have, then feel free. <laughs> um, and uh, seriously, thanks to all my subscribers. You guys are awesome. Uh, I really appreciate the encouragement and. You guys, you guys are so awesome. I just, I just love you guys. You're awesome. Can't say enough. Awesome. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go to bed now. <sighs>